What's going on YouTube? I am Sick Flows back with another reaction video and today boys and girls we are checking out Mike Shinoda Worlds on Fire from his post traumatic album. Like always we do have the lyrics pulled up so we will be reacting and breaking down the lyrics to the song. So if you guys are fans of Mike Shinoda do me a favor slap that like button subscribe and notification bells on that way you guys never miss an upload and if you guys haven't done so yet man let me know your favorite song from this album down in the comments below low also let me know why at the end of this album i'm gonna go ahead and make a video explaining my top three songs from this album so i definitely want to go ahead and go in this discussion so go ahead and comment down below and without further ado let's get right into the video boy Yo, if I look a little tan or like I'm peeling, I was just on the boat, man. And yeah, that shit's tough, man. But anyways, here we have Worlds on Fire, Mike Shinoda. Um, it's showing that Worlds on Fire is the 15th track of Mike Shinoda debut out solo album, Post Traumatic. Mike tells us that when everything is falling apart, burning and exploding in his head due to the difficult times he went through, he always feels home and safe when he stays with this person, which is probably his wife. Anna Shinoda. Anyway, he recognizes her as a beautiful shelter, and that's kind of heartfelt thanks to her. That's a, like a little, a little, uh, a little thing that they put in the beginning of the song. Let's check it out. Mm. Okay. I like how they, I like how it's hitting, man. Don't think I need to say this, cause you know what's in my head. Fucked up is an understatement Can't wait for this year to end It all fell apart Don't know where to start And everything moves so slow I can't get a break It's too much to take But closing my eyes I know Alright, really quick, man I'm gonna go ahead and rewind that too I do not know what instrument is being played right now, but I do like it, man. It's very, very, like, slow tempo, but, like, kind of sounds a little bit like, I don't know if, if I want to say it sounds like techno. It's not, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it's hip-hop sound, but it has a cool sound to it, and the chorus is about to break down, and I think that the, he's going to probably add one or two other instruments to make the song pop. At least that's what I feel like the song would need right now. Too much to take, but closing my eyes, I know. When the world's on fire, all I need is you. Ooh. You. I don't always think to say it, but it's true. It's true. When I just want to disappear. You're the one that keeps me here. The world's on fire. All right, so really quick, he did add instruments, um, sounded like a guitar, and also added drums on it, which is really cool. Um, also added effect to his vocals with the little um, echo and the little reverb, which was really cool. But I love the chorus. It says, when the world's on fire, all I need is you. I don't always think to say it, but it's true. When I just want to disappear, you're the one that keeps me here. The world's on fire, all I need is you. Uh, I can definitely relate to that, man. Uh, a lot of people can relate to that. Whether... Um, you know, it's a loved one, whether it's like your significant other or a family member or friend, you know, you always do have that one person that you feel like no matter what you go through in life, they're always there for you. And that's all you need. It could even be like an object or a thing. Like for me, one thing that has always been there for me, no matter what has happened in life, no matter what I've gone through in life has always been music, man. So music has always been there for me. And I'm guessing a lot of you guys that listen to Mike Shinoda and Linkin Park, you also feel the same, that music is always there for you. So I really do like this. Um, and I love the fact that even though it might be um, dedicated towards his wife, um, it can also be used as to anybody else's situation or a thing or from a person. So I'm really liking this song, man. It's really, really cool, really chill, nothing too crazy about it. All I need is you. You. I think that's like some type of people. Yeah. 
really love those drums, man. You still believe in closing my eyes, I know. Ooh. Okay. Alright, see that little breakdown was cool as shit, man. I really wish that they would probably like kept it going a little bit, but I, this is what I love about Mike Shinoda's writing, man. So in the last verse, right, in the second verse, he goes to saying, you tell me to breathe that you still believe, and closing my eyes, I know, right? And then he jumps right into the chorus, when the world's on fire. So I like the way that he wrote that, like, and I close my eyes, I know, when the world's on fire, all I need is you. Like, I love the way that he wrote that, because the verse leads to the chorus. Many artists these days, especially in hip-hop, the verse has nothing to do with the chorus. And this is, I appreciate it, man, because it's well-structured, well-put-together, man. So for that, I do have to give it a 10, man. I can't help but sing along, man. Ooh. Ooh, a little bridge. Okay. Oh, my goodness, bro. Yeah, that's definitely a keyboard. Yo, that keyboard is so sick. Like, that is such a sick keyboard. And guys, as I'm reading the lyrics right here, check this out. This was ran by Mike Shinoda, vocals by Mike Shinoda, programmer Mike Shinoda, mixed by Mike Shinoda, piano by Mike, keyboards by Mike, drum by Mike, guitar, bass by Mike, man. Mike did everything on this song, man. Mike is a literally a freaking musician an artist a genius bro i love that keyboard like, mm, let me see if i can play it again hold on So I couldn't figure out if that was like legit a drum or some type of a different instrument there then. But let's talk about the song, man. I do love the song, man. I feel like the vibe for the song, it was nothing too crazy, nothing like too mind blowing. Uh, but as far as like giving me a vibe, it definitely gave me a vibe. I could picture like a music video for this and I really pictured maybe like a like a church group singing this song, you know what I mean? Things like that. Um, that's the, the vibe that I got. Really good vibe. Vibe-wise, I give this song a 9 out of 10. Um, let's talk about the lyrics. The lyrics, um, nothing too lyrical to break down in that lyric. Everything is like self-explanatory. But what I do like about the song is that it's, it's so relatable to basically everyone, man. Like, you know, as an artist, you not only have to write a song that like you're 100% behind it because it, like when you write a song as an artist and you're 100% behind it, your feelings are behind it, it's going to sound amazing because you and the lyrics of the song are going to be connecting and make a better song. But now if you want the song to be a hit and for something for everyone to love, now you have to find it, uh, like something that you can tie from yourself with everyone else, like something that everyone else can relate to as well. And in this song, like I said, it might be dedicated to his wife. Um, and even if it's not, you know what I mean? But I think it is dedicated towards his wife. But the beauty about, about this song is that um, you can like listen to this song and not be like, oh, this is towards his wife. You can actually apply it to your own self or apply it to anyone else, which is really relatable. And I really like this song, man. So for that alone, I'll give the song a nine out of 10. Um, 
I, I wouldn't say that it's one of my favorite songs from the album. The album has some hits, but this song is definitely, definitely cool. I would not skip this song if it came on. Um, but I want you guys to let me know down below if you guys can relate this song. Do you guys have that special something or special somebody that always keeps you here? If so, let me know down in the comments below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and notification bells on. Follow me on all my social medias. And don't forget to slap that like button. And I'll see you guys next time with another one. Bow!